Try something. It's really hard to video working a dog yourself. Their eye. But... It's kind of like the mom stare. We okay, do. hopefully the last point right here. I don't claim to be a world's best trainer. Never have, never will. Okay, so I'm gonna try something. It's really hard to video working a dog yourself, but my guys are gone trucking all week, so I'm gonna just try. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is where do I even start? Where do I start training dogs? Basically, teach them a little bit of obedience off of stock. Don't make them robots. I personally, I want my dog to think. That's the whole point to me is to be able to have a dog that'll think their way through things. And I really like that. One of my first recommendations is teach them, you know, a little bit of obedience, like I said, off of stock. Um, a good lie down, a stay, that, that's about all I do. Then I come to a smaller area. I'm not out in the big pasture here. This dog is old enough she can go out, but I'm just, we work in the pasture all the time. But see the two dogs in the far back? They're my fence for young dogs. They'll just stay there and lay there all day. They've done this enough times and they'll just watch for me. But if you have a much smaller area to start in, I highly recommend that. Part of it with young dogs too is helping them develop what is already naturally in them. So Joy already has a lot of natural feel. Sheep like her, but helping her develop that so she trusts herself. Stand, we, and teaching directions again. I just step this way to help her understand that I'm blocking this way. I'm making the wrong choice. Nope, nope, nope. Joy, lie down. Oh, wait. She's wanting to go because the lambs are, and that's a good thing. But she also has to learn to trust me that what I want her to do trumps even what her instincts say. And part of that is just repetition. Actually, the biggest part of that is just repetition, 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 and consistency so that they understand. It's like kids. If we have no boundaries for kids, they just flop all over. Same thing with dogs. They have to understand. Like when I say stand, she's already going to stop. But if she hadn't, I would be willing to step into her. Stand. I don't want to do too much because she's already feeling the pressure on me. Lie down. Good girl. But if she hadn't, I would go towards her and push her. Because if you watch this, I'm going to try not to do anything too much verbal. But see how she's like, uh-oh, she's coming towards me. Not a bad thing. But if I went get back, she how she gives, that's what I want my dogs to do. I want them to give off of me. So when I say get back, she's going to give off. And it doesn't have to be a harsh thing. It's just an understanding. She really gave off there. She's going to come out from under here. I love to watch a dog's brain think, though. It's super fun. Look at that. Nice job, Joy. Good girl. Good girl. And Joy is actually one of those. Not every dog is this way. Joy loves positive feedback. Ty could care less. If you tell him good boy, he just wants to work. Get out of his way. Joy loves it. If you're like, good girl, Joy. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Hey, get back. Hi. Look at, she left that one. Stand. This is a great teaching moment. Stand. Lie down. Get back. Hey. Good girl. Good girl. It's a good border collie. Um, they use their eye a lot. Other dogs are more loose. Border collies are, they're going to use their eye. It's kind of like the mom stare. We always joke that they're, that's how they're moving them. Stand. Stay. Joy. Lie down. Good girl. Lie down. See how she's like not wanting to. Hey. Lie down. Lie down. See how as soon as she does, I'm going to give off. Takes pressure off. As soon as she even gives me a flicker of it, especially the young dog, you want to give off. You So when you put pressure on, as soon as they give you a little bit of anything, they're giving off, they're making their close to the right choice, just release some pressure so that they understand, oh, that's what you wanted me to do. That's how we communicate with dogs. Pressure and release, right, Joy Joy? Good girl. That'll do. Good job. Did you work hard? You worked so hard. You worked so hard. Are you a good one? She's a good one. All right, I'm going to oh. attempt. Lie down with an older dog. This is Joy's mom, actually, Jess. Showing you a little more like I am on her left. She's on my right. I'm going to send her that direction. So when I'm teaching directions, I'm going to give her the direction. If this is a young dog, I'm offset. So that way is easy. This way is hard. And I say, oh, way. A lot of times a young dog will not take off right then, or they'll just go, way, and they'll get a little lost on where they're going. She's getting old and creepy in her old age. Anyway, we, what we do when we're teaching those is we just keep re repeating it. Dogs learn it through repetition. 
So consistently, away to me. We set them up for that direction and then give that flank. They don't know the flank the first several times you give it. It takes a lot of repetition before they're solid and know their flanks. That's what we call it. Way is like a counterclockwise flank and a cut by is a clockwise flank. As with most things in life, dog training, training horses, anything, consistency, consistency, consistency. I really just can't say it enough. When we blur the lines with an animal, it's really hard for them to understand, well, why did I get in trouble for it this time, but I didn't last time? Or why did I receive a correction this time, but I didn't last time? And timing is so important. If we're behind what they did, say, okay, we asked them to lie down. They didn't. We let them take, you know, half a loop around and then ask them for a lie down. They're like, they're so far past that last lie down at that point. It, it doesn't even make sense if we're correcting them then that far later. So we need to be right on top of it on when to give corrections, but don't let that scare you. I know a lot of people are like, well, I don't have the greatest timing. How am I going to do this? Dogs are super forgiving too. Just keep trying. Set it up in a small situation. One of my biggest tips is a lot of times people want to just take the dog, horse, whatever, and go straight to work. I'm guilty of it too. And then you're in a hurry, you're stretched for time, um, you're pushing, things get a little sometimes, you know, out of control and the dog feels it. They feed off of our energy too. And so I really cannot recommend enough taking the time to work your dog that is strictly training your horses too that is strictly training, um, especially young dogs. Older dogs are different, um, say with older horses, obviously. But if you can take the time away from pressured work and just go work them, go train them, away from all the hullabaloo, you're both gonna, you're both gonna benefit from that, trust me. Okay, hopefully the last point right here. I don't claim to be a world's best trainer. Never have, never will. I train my dogs to compete, but mostly for ranch work. Um, I do what works best for me. It won't always work best for everybody else. So you're gonna have to learn to adjust and I'm gonna recommend it over and over and over again, if at all possible. And you have someone close enough to you that is willing to help you, you know, get the feel for it, even if it's just a couple times and take your dog. And cause more, it isn't more about them training your dog. You can find people that will do that. But honestly, it's about training you and helping you understand that. So go find someone. I'll put a link in here where you can kind of look up um, at least USBCHA, the United States Border Collie Handler Association. And you can find people in your area to at least call and get some references and go that way. And the importance of a good trainer for yourself and your dog, huge, huge. So much more important than picking out a couch or something. Take the time. Really, really research who you want to learn from, okay?